Hey Explorers, Mercedes here. Today we're going to be looking at Clark Planetarium's meteorite exhibit. What are meteorites? Where do they come from? Well, to find out, we're going to the vacuum of space. Just kidding, bad pun. Anyways, outer space is a vacuum. There's not a lot of stuff in it, yet there is. We can see stars and planets from here in our cozy places here on Earth, and they're all so spread out, these big empty spaces in between things. But they're not as empty as you think. You need special telescopes and tools in order to see these much smaller objects. Meteorites start off as asteroids in outer space. Asteroids can be made up of ice, rock, and metal, as well as trace other elements. When an asteroid gets close to hitting the Earth, or it has a possible trajectory that'll bring it really close to Earth, or even hit it, they get reclassified as a meteoroid. And then once it hits our atmosphere and it burns and burns brightly through the atmosphere, we call that a meteor. You have probably seen a meteor before. They are also called shooting stars. If that meteor survives its fall through the Earth's atmosphere and hits the ground with a big old impact, usually creating something like a crater, we call that a meteorite. Now you know what a meteorite is. So the meteorites that we have on display here are from all around the world, actually. This one in particular, our biggest guy on display, is from Nantan, uh, China. It landed near Nantan in 1516, and it has a really cool history behind it. One of the things about it is that it is one of the earliest recorded meteorite impacts from history. The kind of rough translation that somebody found was uh, stars fell from the northwest direction, waving like snakes and dragons. They were as bright as lightning and disappeared in seconds. This meteorite actually wasn't just this one piece. It's actually hundreds of pieces. The Nantan meteorite is a long field, about 17 miles long and five miles wide of debris from the meteor that broke into a bunch of different pieces. And there are thousands of these that you can find uh, that have been collected over time. A more recent example of this exciting phenomenon is the Chelyabinsk meteorite. In February of 2013, an unexpected event occurred. Space agencies and nearby residents of Chelyabinsk, Russia, were caught off guard as a meteor crashed through the atmosphere, dramatically lighting up the daytime sky so much that it changed the shadows on the ground. The initial asteroid was estimated to be 59 feet in size, with an estimated mass of 9,100 metric tons. The shockwave from the meteor breaking apart broke windows, knocked people off their feet, and even caused the collapse of a factory rooftop. Luckily, only small injuries were reported and no deaths. NASA and other space agencies track asteroids in our solar system. Most of the asteroids in our solar system have, especially the big dangerous ones, they've already hit our planet or another planet uh, or on paths that will never cross with the Earth, thankfully. So we should be pretty safe. Those early solar system asteroids that, you know, possibly took out the dinosaurs and things like that, most of those are gone now. There are still some big ones out there, but they're not really on a collision course for the Earth, so we should be relatively safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep your eyes on the sky.